What is going on everyone? Thanks for entering the Lobby of Hobbies. It's a new year, 2022, so why not start it off right with a Kickstarter preview? This one is set to launch January 4th, coming from 25th Century Games. This is Blazin from designer Dave Conklin, and the artwork is from the infamous Ian O'Toole. Big shout out to 25th Century for sending this over to us. That way, you guys can check it out, we can preview it, and you can determine whether or not this game is worthy of your backing. Now, this is a prototype, so everything you see is going to be subject to change. Follow along with the Kickstarter campaign. The link is down in the description below. Now, this is a mid medieval heraldry-themed game, and it's a tableau-building hand management game. And if that sounds up your alley, you might want to stay tuned. So if you're ready for this one, Let's get into it. Now, heraldry is the use of inherited coats of arms and other symbols to show personal identity and family lineage. And in Blazon, players will act as heralds, acquiring various elements and placing them out onto their shield board, decorating it to earn various distinctions and ultimately score prestige points on the way to victory. Now in Blazon, players will receive a shield board along with a starting hand of four element cards. They will receive two cards from the device deck and two cards from the tincture deck. They will also receive one herald token that they can use to spend at any time during the game to do side actions. Now on a player's turn they have one of two main actions they can do and the first one is acquiring element cards. When they acquire element cards they can choose to either draw two cards from the device deck or two cards from the tincture deck or instead draw one card from each deck choosing to keep those two cards in their hand or exchange them for face-up cards in the center of the table. Now, when they exchange, they must exchange like cards for like cards. So that is device card for device card and tincture card for tincture card. The other action players can choose to do on their turn is the blazon action. During this action, players will play element cards from their hand out onto their board following specific placement rules. Now, when they play a card, they must discard cards of equal or greater prestige value as the card that was played. Players will score points according to pr the prestige value on the card that was played and move their marker on their prestige track. Now, when a card is played out onto their board, it must either match the top or bottom element on that placement location. All other cards following in the same row must either match the same top or bottom icon of previously played cards. Now, as players score points from the element cards that are played and move their marker along the prestige track, for the first player to reach the 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 spot on the track, they will receive an animal achievement token that will be worth end game points. All other players will receive a herald token instead. Once per turn, players can spend one of their herald tokens to be able to perform one of the four side actions. The first is play an element card from their hand and only spend one prestige to do so. The second is to draw a card from either the face-up display or one of the two draw piles. The next thing a player can do is swap out the cards on display for new cards. And lastly, they can either draw a card from the device discard pile or the tincture discard pile. Now, as players are playing element cards, they will have the opportunity to score end game points through distinction cards. The distinction cards are goal cards that players are trying to race to acquire and fulfill the requirements. The first player to do so will score the most end game points, but all other players will receive a herald token instead. Now the end game is triggered once one player has either filled their board, reached the 50 spot on the prestige track, or placed out all their distinction tokens. 
every other player will get one final turn and the game will proceed to final scoring. Now in the back of the rulebook for Blazon, there are some optional rules that will allow you to do things like bend the placement rules of the element cards on your shield board. You can do this by using your abatement token to do so, but if that abatement token is not returned to its starting location before the end of the game, you will score negative points. Now, like I said, this is a fast playing tableau builder as players start to race to play their element cards onto their shield to score prestige. They're also racing to um, fulfill the various goals on the distinction cards in the center of the table. Now each game, those distinction cards will change, offering variability from game to game. But if you are a fan of tableau builders, a fan of, you know, the medieval heraldry theme, or even a fan of the Ian O'Toole artwork, the link to the campaign is going to be down in the description below so that you can check this one out. But I want to thank you guys for stopping through as I shared this one with you, and hopefully you've discovered something possibly worth backing on Kickstarter. But I want to thank you guys again. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button along with that bell icon. That way you can be notified anytime I drop new content. But I want to thank you guys for coming through and I'll see you on the next one.